Arm in there, drive him back off. Okay? That's a tie gamer. I, actually, I think they missed it. No. Yeah, Alright, so it's 5-7. As far as I'm concerned, it's 0-0. We got a new, new game that's going to start right now for the second half. 
and um, and we need to play it differently. We need to play smart rugby. You guys are spending tons of energy and getting nowhere. We played, what do you think, maybe two thirds of that half inside their 10 meter line. All those were just scored waiting to happen. Do uh, you guys even realize how long you spent right there on your try line? Yeah, long time. Most of the game, we've been right there waiting to score. And here's what it's going to take to score. Three grabbing stuff. Okay? You just can't think that you're the guy that's always going to score. Okay? It might be that you get to do the grab and stab right on the goal line. But otherwise, it's the ball is there. Don't even look and worry about where you're on the field. Reach down, pull the ball up to your chest, and lunge forward and go to the ground. You just got us two yards. The next guy, clear over. The next guy, seal that thing up. The next guy, if the ball is there to be played, grab it and lunge forward. You might not even know that you lunged forward and put the ball in the try zone. If we would have done that three times in a row about five different plays down here, we'd probably be up to about 30 points right now. Yep. Okay, because we kept getting down there and then losing it. Get down there and then somebody would peel the ball out of our hands because we didn't go to the ground. You know, we're running the ball up here and they're taking the ball from us. I tell you that at practice all the time. That's how I play rugby. I don't care about tackling people. All I want is the ball. If the guy's going to run at me with the ball right here, I'm just going to punch the ball out of his arms. And they've done that to you guys like five times. Don't do that. Somebody's there, go to the ground. That's the, that's the safe thing to do, go to the ground. When you go to the okay. ground, place the ball carefully too. I see people just sort of hurling it down. You've got time, place it, place it here. And then it won't go, won't go long. Okay, so we got, we got less than a minute here. Pod running. One pod has to run up, and those four guys have to hit at the same time. One guy can't go up and take a big old hit. It has to be four guys, three guys behind the ball carrier, slamming into that line. And you don't slam into a trunk, you go into the branches, right? Don't run it, don't run at trunks, run at branches. Run at spaces, not at faces. Run up here and then go, boom, through this gap. Hit that gap and have three guys punch you through it, okay? Right to the ground, the other pod has to be there waiting to get that ball. Okay? If you're all involved in that, then it's then it's not gonna work. <laughs> Alan, I need to talk to you real quick. I'll s oh,
is the same age as this little guy up here. So the same as release it, release it. Come over, come over. You play it. Alright, alright, alright. Mine out. 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 Mine this ball. Woo! Good job, Tyler. Nice job, Tyler. We get that ball. Go down, go down. 